Chapter 6 A Visit to the Police Station Half an hour later, Hero was outside the police station at Hallisher's Tor. Looking up at the building, he felt his new confidence suddenly leave him. It was a huge grey place with very few windows, and standing there, Hero began to feel nervous. He thought about the lie he had told Herr Albert, that his camera had been stolen and he wanted to report it. How he wished that was true. How he wished that he had never met the shark and that all he had to worry about was a missing camera. Suddenly, it seemed like a big mistake to come to the police. He wasn't even certain anymore that the shark had tried to kill him. From the start, it didn't go well. The first police officer he spoke to could understand very little English and immediately called for someone else. Hero waited nervously for half an hour in the crowded waiting room, watching people come and go. At last, a woman police officer in a bright green and white uniform appeared. She introduced herself as Petra Müller, and led Hero off to a small glass-walled office at the back of the police station. Hero began badly. I think an old man tried to kill me, he said. At that, the police officer raised her eyebrows. I read some messages on this man's phone. I think he's going to murder someone tonight in the Hotel Adlon, Hero continued. And then he tried to push me off the platform in front of a train. The words came falling out of Hero's mouth. Within half a minute, he was in a terrible mess. All right, the police officer said quietly. Perhaps we should take this a bit more slowly. Hero had to repeat himself while the police officer took several pages of notes. Then she finally stood up and told Hero she was going to get someone else. It was half an hour before she reappeared, this time with an older man who was fat and smelt strongly of cigarettes. He wasn't wearing a uniform, and Hero decided he must be a detective. The detective didn't introduce himself. He sat on the table and crossed his arms. So... You're the Japanese boy who thinks an old man has tried to kill him. Is that correct? The detective started. Hero didn't know how to answer. Is that correct? The detective repeated. Yes, that's right, Hero said at last. And why do you believe this old man wished to murder you? The detective asked. Hero felt more nervous all the time. I explained to your colleague that... I don't wish to know what you explained to my colleague. I want you to tell me, the detective said angrily. Hero looked up at the detective. He seemed to be in a very bad mood, as if he would start shouting at any moment. By accident, I read some messages on the old man's phone. Hero said quietly. We were on the train, and I picked up his phone by mistake. Yes, yes, I know all that, the detective said impatiently. What I want to know is why you believe an old man would wish to kill you for that. Hero smelt cigarettes on the detective's breath again. I think the messages I read on the old man's phone were very important. Hero said quietly. One message said he had an assignment at the Hotel Adlon. The detective's eyes lit up. Ah, an assignment! He smiled at the woman police officer. I'm sorry. Go on. Hero felt hot. And the other message said he was going to collect half his fee and some equipment today at... Equipment, eh? The detective broke in. 
And what do you think is meant by that? I'm not sure, Hero said nervously. I thought... Hero came to a stop. Well, the detective said. I'm not sure, Hero answered. I thought it might be a gun, he said at last, dropping his head. There was silence. Hero could feel the detective's eyes on him. Finally, the man got up from the table and began to walk round the room. OK, let's leave all that for the moment. Now, you say he tried to kill you. How exactly did he do that? We were on the platform at the main station, Hero explained. He was standing behind me. I think he was going to push me. You think he was going to push you? The detective said the words slowly. Yes, and he got hold of my arm, Hero went on. And he got hold of your arm, the detective repeated after him. There was silence. Hero felt his face going red. Now that he'd said out loud what he believed, it suddenly seemed very stupid. He saw the detective watching him. The man just gave a tired nod. Then he spoke. I guess you like spy films, yes? James Bond, Jason Bond, this sort of rubbish? Hero didn't look up. You know, I suppose, that it's a very serious business to waste police time? The detective went on. Yes, I do, Hero answered. And you can imagine how busy we are, the detective said. Hero nodded. There was silence again. The detective went on at last. What are you doing here in Berlin, alone? I'm on an interrail trip, Hero replied. I know, but why are you by yourself? Where are your friends? The detective asked. I, I was going to have a holiday with my girlfriend, but we've just broken up. Hero said quietly. Ah, so now we have it, a broken heart. The detective shook his head and walked over to the door. Look, my friend, he said, nobody is trying to kill you and there aren't going to be any murders in the Hotel Adlon tonight. You're living in a dream. You see one thing and you imagine another. It's all in your mind. Now, return to your hotel, pack your bags and get a train back to England as fast as you can. Buy your girlfriend some flowers. That's my advice. With that, he hurried out of the door, calling some orders in German to the woman police officer as he left the room. Hero looked down at the floor. He had never before felt so small.